How's it going guys? It is a couple days before Christmas. We are at our favorite place called Costco. We got here and the drop was kind of really bad for some reason. So I ended up not taking any orders on the drop. So we waited an extra like 10 minutes and I still ended up getting a pretty decent batch. It was $36 and it is almost 50 items for two uh, people. So about 25 and 25. So I'll be using two carts today. Hopefully um, it all fits in two carts because I know that's a pretty high count for Costco. I will say I kind of regret coming out this direction because my town had a lot of good batches this morning for some reason, which is kind of rare. I saw two $50 batches there that were a lot of work, but probably still less work than what I'm about to do. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do this order so we can get back on track. If we get this done in about an hour and a half, I say we'll be doing pretty good. So I'll see you guys in a minute. So we finished that order. We shopped it in 34 minutes, but um, checkout and then packing everything in the car took a while because they didn't pack boxes for me because they're basically out up there. So we did all right. Um, 30 minutes for 50 items at Costco is pretty good. And we have the entire car packed. I got really nervous in there. I thought I mixed up my loyalty badges again because I'm dyslexic. So it's super hard for me to uh, remember which order is what I just keep getting getting them mixed up so I did it right I was finally able to reassure myself after a lot of overthinking it and we're good so we'll still be able to work at Costco this is one of the orders I'm gonna go ahead and write my little thank you note now so I don't have to do it later so we're nine minutes away from our first drop-off and then um, the second drop-off should be fairly close at least that's what it looked like on the map the parking lot is crazy right now. There's a lot of people stealing like parking spots and stuff. And it's just, it's a whole mess. People are getting like heated, like really mad, cussing each other out. And it's like literally the week of Christmas. And uh, it's just pretty hilarious to see how, how nice people are around the holidays. I did have to uh, refund two things. So the order is probably gonna go down like a couple dollars. I'm not too worried about it though. The only thing that sucks is I took a lot longer on this batch than I really should have. So our hourly rate won't be the best, but we also started late. So if we throw that into there, we've only been at it for about an hour for what was supposed to be $36. So we'll see. We'll do a little recap at the end to see how this went. Yeah, I'll see you in a minute. All right, so it's kind of slow right now. I just took a, another $20 Costco batch. It was only like, I think five miles. So probably like a 10 minute drop off and it's only 11 items, so it should be pretty fast. It's better than sitting around and I've been sitting for a bit. So I took that time, ate my lunch, listened to a podcast and now we are back to work. So I already got a text from this customer. Apparently they really want me to find their cookies. So I'm gonna make sure I try my absolute hardest to find that item for the customer. I know the store pretty well, so if it's on stock, eh, I should be able to find it for them. So I'll see you guys in a little. So of course with our luck, the cookies are out of stock. The one thing that she really, really wanted is out of stock. It seems about right. I do feel bad this lady really wanted those cookies and I personally I've never even seen them at the store but I know where the cookies that are like that where they are and I did ask an employee and I went to where they told me to go not in stock so it's unfortunate hopefully the lady believes me and doesn't think that I'm just like pretending to have looked for it I did try my hardest and um, I, I think it's important to always try your hardest because if customers see that, then they, uh, they're they more likely to give you a good rating, which just helps you out and it keeps them happy. It's a win-win, so always try your hardest, even if the customer is not being super nice. It's just not worth doing a bad job ever because it just affects your income. I just missed $63 order. It wasn't like 
it wasn't where I usually shop. It was like in the city. So I would have had to drive there, but for 63, I would have taken that all day and then just been done after that. Sitting at $54 right now for three and a half hours of work, which is not good, not normal for my market. I was thinking that uh, the reason it's kind of so slow today is probably because a lot of people are off of work and they could just shop for themselves. So I guess uh, Instacart shoppers isn't really a, a need right now, but usually before holidays, things like pick up. So I'm hoping it gets better and that I'm not wasting my time out here doing these deliveries. I could have taken one order this morning in my neighborhood and been at 50 like two hours ago. So feeling uh, pretty bad about today. Hopefully things pick up. Um, just have to roll with it. Um, I'm gonna sit here and watch the highway while I hopefully find a batch. Hopefully I won't be missing anymore because that's just sad. That's a $75 batch that I just missed. I got the notification, never even popped up. I've been sitting here just doing this. Still missed it. And I have three bars, like I, I don't even understand it. And I honestly, I doubt that bots are even in my area because I know the shoppers around here and I don't think any of them are using bots. So I have no idea how someone was able to get that before me, but oh well. That just hurts though, $75. I mean, that would put me at 125 and I'm gonna be lucky to even hit 125 today. So hopefully next time I see you, it's not another one of these or I'm missing a batch. All right, I've been waiting here for an hour and I don't know, it, it wasn't too bad. I've been enjoying my time, listening to a podcast, snacking on some food. But um, I am glad that we finally got an order. It's only $20, 10 miles, which oof. But um, it's only like nine items. It's two drop-offs though. I don't know, with sitting for that long, you just have to take something. Otherwise, you'll just sit there all day. I don't think Instacart really likes it whenever you just sit around anyways. I think they kind of help promote um, moving around by giving you batches whenever you're actually more active. Not too sure how true that is, but that's just what uh, I've kind of seen lately. I'm gonna go do this order. It is gonna take me pretty close to the town that I'm actually from. So I may just stay over there because I don't know, over here is, it's not um, the way. So I'm gonna go ahead, do this order, crush it, get out of here, and we should be at 75. So see you guys in a little. All right, finish the shopping, pretty easy. Crazy person on my right about to crash into me, that's cool, what are you doing? Um, order went very smooth, everything was in stock, it was a miracle, and two separate orders, and one's in the back right there, you might be able to see some of it. It's very hard to talk while driving here in Texas, there's a lot of stupid drivers. But uh, today's been pretty cool, minus the fact that we had to sit around for so long. I was able to talk to two other uh, Instacarters today and kind of get to hear how their day's going, how uh, the market is doing, where we're at, all that fun stuff. All right, so Instacart is not doing so hot. I've just not been seeing orders today. So I'm stuck at 75. So I came home, switched cars to the more fun car, and we're going to uh, actually do some DoorDash to finish up my day. So I'm actually heading to uh, Little Caesars right now. So yeah, this should be interesting. Can't wait to make my car smell like pizza for the next week. But yeah, that's what we're resorting to. Pretty sure something's going on with Instacart right now because it's just like not normal. So unless if it's really because people are off of work and they can shop for themselves, unless if like that's what's going on, then the app has to have an issue. Like I've never had a day this bad. I think I worked, let's say, if you wanna include me sitting in the car, I probably worked for about six hours today to make $75, which is not good for my market. So I'll see you guys in a little. I have a 15 minute drive to pick up this pizza no idea why I was getting a DoorDash order for over there, but I'm taking it. It was like $14. Um, so we'll see what it ends up being.
All I need is 25 to make it to at least 100. So I'll be happy with that. See you guys in a minute. So I canceled those orders because there's so much traffic. I would have, it probably would have taken me 20 minutes to get there. And um, I just, I don't want to give someone cold pizza. So I canceled the order, but we got a $16 Instacart order, which is good. We're staying to Instacart. So good for us. And um, I'm going to go ahead and do this order and I'll show you guys what it looks like. Currently, the highway is at a standstill again, so big suck there, but uh, I'll see you guys in a minute. All right, so that order was fine. Took me a little bit because the meat was not up front, but I was able to ask the, the butcher, whatever you want to call it, the meat department, to get some in the back. So they had it, and um, I think I just had to refund one thing, and I almost went through with it because I'm not too sure what the policy is because I've heard both from customer support, but uh, there's a replacement that I did was it was basically identical, just a different brand. And I tried calling her, she wouldn't answer, she wouldn't answer to the text. So I just went with it because it was a very cheap item. And um, I was going through the line and she was like, no. And then text the word, oh. So I was like, okay. And so luckily the cashier wasn't like finished with the order. And um, that's might be one reason not to swipe your card immediately whenever you're doing Instacart. I'm probably gonna stop doing that just for that reason because luckily that uh, item was at the very end of the belt so we were able to get rid of it and refund it so I'm very glad she texted me when she did otherwise she probably would have not been too happy with me but yeah I'm gonna drop this off we'll probably go down like a dollar or so and need ten more dollars to reach 100 at this point I'm just trying to have fun with it because it's just it's a bad day for this so close $91. $91 for way too much work. I, I don't even want to talk about my hourly rate today because I'd be better off working at McDonald's, at least today. If that was the case every day, definitely would not still be doing this job. So we just dropped off the last order. Um, I ended up taking a $26 order to put us at, I think around like $115, but there's a bit of traffic to get there, but I figured why not take it. I really don't want to have like a really bad day again. So I wanted to just, I guess, spend more time working and make a little bit more. So I'll let you guys know how the last order does and hopefully we're able to uh, save this day with a little bit more money at the end. All right, so it is 6.53, almost seven, which means that we've almost worked nine hours to make $117 definitely not my best day but that is what has happened today hopefully you guys are able to get some out of this video even though it was probably very boring and just a bad day anyways i'll see you guys on the next one